afternoon. So for today, we're going to introduce our insulation guidelines. This is for uh, the ballast water treatment system using Sunroy. So using Sunroy, we're going to use the filter and using sodium hypochlorite. So our ship is uh, in the Balgang Spirit uh, bulk carrier. So first, let's go to the basic. So we pump the seawater from our sea chest using either our number one ballast pump going to our ballast tank in starboard side. Or we pump our seawater from sea chest using number two ballast pump that is going to ballast tank uh, port side. So using the ballast water treatment system, the first system is we are going to use AFU-01 or the automatic back flushing unit. So first we are going to filter the seawater that is uh, both from uh, your uh, starboard side and port side. And using our automatic back flushing unit, we have the sludge pump. So automatically we throw the dirty seawater going to overboard. And using the ballast water treatment, we have two systems. We use filtration and we use also uh, injection or sodium hypochlorite from EDU. So both on starboard side and port side. And then while we are uh, doing the filtration and the injection of sodium hypochlorite, we use also the TRO sampling. So Using a TR or something, you have to maintain that the ballast tank, the seawater inside the ballast tank, must have a TRO of 7.5 ppm. So if the TRO is more than 7.5 ppm, so what we're going to do, the TRO will give signal to your uh, main control system, and then it will give signal to your EDU. So if the TRO is more than 7.5 ppm, the EDU will inject more sodium hypochlorite in order to keep or maintain the ballast tank at TRO of 7.5 ppm. So next we have here also the piping diagram. So same from sea chest, we pump using the number one ballast pump going to our water ballast tank starboard side. Or we pump the seawater from your sea chest using the number two ballast pump and then going to your water ballast tank port side. So we have here the ballast water treatment system from our maker, the Sandroid. So first, from our ballast pump, we pump the seawater using our FU-01 and FU-02. So we filter the seawater and the remaining seawater, filtered seawater, that will be injected by a chemical sodium hypochlorite from our EDU. So both sides, port and starboard side, we inject the chemical sodium hypochlorite to our main pipeline. And then, after injection of chemical, we take also something that will go to our TRO-01 and TRO-02, both on the port and starboard side. So, if our TRO is more than 7.5 ppm, so the EDU will continue injecting chemical until the TRO will be maintained at 7.5 ppm. So now, let's go with our insulation guideline. So, there are some... Uh, practice on, the, on uh, the shipyard that is not good for our ballast water treatment system. So first of all, it is not advisable to, push, to pull misaligned pass with chain block. So using this system, we are going to destroy our pipeline, our system, the ballast water treatment system. So this will cause uh, leakage and also vibration during operation. So never, never to use chain block in order to align the misaligned pipes. And also secondly, with our pump. So never, never apply pressure 
by hammering on the pump. So if the, the pipe, the hole is misaligned, better to make it bigger. So never, never apply pressure on our pumps. So what will happen? There will be strain or stress that will uh, decrease the efficiency of our pump. And maybe it will cause for the damage of the pump and the piping. So next, we have here the, our plan for the insulation. So first of all, we have to connect new pipes to existing pipes. So we have here our existing patches. We are going to connect these new pipes. So if possible, do not put pressure from your new pipe into the existing pipes. And then secondly, we have to install temporarily the FU01 and FU02. So and also the top liners. What's the purpose of installing this temporarily? So we have here our pipes, adjustable pipes, but the only one direction. If we are going to install temporarily the filter unit and the top liners, we can do the adjustment on X, Y, Z uh, location. So this is number two, one thing this is very important, and. Number three, we have to apply adjustable pipe for adjustment. So our adjustable pipes are called red, this one. So we use this adjustable pipe and the filter unit to adjust. So first, we're going to install from our existing pipe, the fixed pipes. We have to install these fixed pipes and these fixed pipes. And then we use the adjustable pipe and the filter to adjust so that uh, we, we will not put pressure on the pipes and the filter unit. It's very important, adjustable pipe and the filter unit. Use it for adjustment of the system, of the installation. And then number four, during installation, please supply the piece drawing so that uh, the worker will, uh, will, will not be mistakenly install the pipes. They will properly and correctly install the pipes as per drawing. So, supply the piece drawing for this insulation. So next, this is now our plan. So, first of all, we have to install, uh, number one, we have to install the AFU seat as per drawing, except for the liner and the filter unit. So, temporarily, we have to use this for adjustment. And then number two, we have to install this pipe. This pipe is going to your existing pipe to Balastan, port side, and the other side is on starboard side. Number three, from your starboard side connection, from your Balastan. And then number four, these are the pipes from your uh, pump, ballast pump, going to the AFU01 filter unit inlet. That is uh, number four and number five. From your ballast pump going to the filter inlet unit of your AFUS 2. And then we install also these pipes, number 6, that is going to your inductor. And number 7, we have to install, it's very important, temporarily install AFUS 01, AFUS 02, and top liners. We're going to use this for XYZ adjustment. So temporarily only install this filter unit. And then number eight, we are going to install this connection. So from this adjustment pipe, adjustable pipe into your AFU zero two, we are going to install these pipes. So we use the adjustable pipe and the filter unit to adjust to install these pipes. This number eight and number nine same. That is for the filter outlet. So we use the filter unit as our adjust adjusting uh, unit. Number. Uh, 10, so from your FU01, we have to install these pipes using the adjustable pipe and the FU01 for the filter inlet and for the number 11 for the filter outlet. And then lastly, if we already able to adjust all the pipes as we are drawing, so now we're going to fix now the filter unit and the liner. 
is worth number 2. So first, okay, first we are going to install number 1, the AFU seat, expert drawing. So we are going to install this except for the top liner. So use this only as for reference. So we're going to use the top liner for adjustment. So the top liner is below your filter unit. So, so in order for us to move the filter unit, please do not weld the top liners. And then next, this is our number two. So we have here the number two. So this is the adjustable pipe connecting to your uh, ballast, going to ballast tank, to your existing pipe. So temporarily, okay, for the adjustable pipe, first no cutting and no welding. Use this only temporarily. Why we're going to, use, to install this temporarily? Because there are other pipes that are we are going to connect. So just temporarily install the adjustable pipes. So next, we have here number 3, this is our number 3 from uh, starboard side of your uh, ballast tank. So we install these pipes. So we have here the existing pipe, we have to install this fixed pipe. And then, we install the adjustable pipes. So we always use the adjustable pipe for adjustment. So we have here number 3 and then next we're going to number 4. So this is our number 4 from your pump, from your pump. So we install this pipe as per drawing. So first install the uh, from your existing pipe, the connection from your existing pipe and install first this fixed pipe. And then we install the adjustable pipe. So temporarily because we are going to install also another pipe on the top okay so no full welding and no, no full cutting first just temporarily for the adjustable pipe so same here for our number pipe this pipe so we install this pipe from the existing pipe and then uh, fixed pipe and the adjustable pipe and then for number six going to your adapter we install first the fixed pipe and then next the adjustable pipe. And then number seven, as this is the most important thing, temporarily install AFU 1 and AFU 2 and also the liners. No welding. We are going to use this for the adjustment of the pipes. Okay. We're going to adjust this fixed pipes using our filter unit so number eight this is our number eight from your pump going to your filter unit the inlet so we install this pipe including the flow meter and the bulb so using the adjustable pipe we connect this and to the our filter unit that is for the inlet and we have also for the outlet so we always use the adjustable pipe and the filter unit so that we will not have problem insulate for the insulation of these pipes and number 10 so number 10 so we're going to our AFU 01 so we will install these pipes, the fixed pipe, with the bulb and the flow meter. So using this adjustable pipe, we install this fixed pipe and we adjust also the filter unit. So same from the inlet and also for our outlet pipes. So use the filter unit in adjusting this pipe. Remember, we don't have here the adjustable pipe. So we have only the adjustable pipe on the inlet, from the inlet. So 
next is now so after we already have the, all the adjustment in the insulation so after we fix all the pipelines we can now fix the adjustable pipe and also our filter unit and our top liner so we can now full well the top liner after adjustment of all pipes so if the top liner is not on the bracket we can add additional bracket for re reinforcement okay so we have to add reinforcement in order to minimize vibration during operation of the filter unit okay so we're finished now and then hoping you will understand if you have some question just uh, write your comment and then we will uh, try to answer you thank you